Hi everybody, it's Stephanie with Planning with P. Nettie. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm doing another item that was in our Go Wild swag box. Uh, this is a sticker monthly subscription from Plum Paper. This is the April set. So I'm going to grab that Plum Paper uh, planner guide that they gave us and use that to decorate. But it looks like it's about the same size as a Happy Planner. So you could use these stickers in your Happy Planner as well. And then I'm just going to decorate the monthly view here. So here's April. I mean, March. So they gave us these planner guides right after Go Wild, which was that first week of March. And I didn't get around to looking at it until later. So I'm going to use the April stickers and redate that March monthly view. So what's funny about this envelope is it's really pretty. And there's this little tab right here that they want you to use to open the envelope. It says tear here. And I don't know if you could see it, there's a little tab and then you would tear that across and open the envelope that way. But I find that the sticker peels off quite easily and then you can keep that nice pretty envelope without tearing into it. But you get, was it five sheets of stickers in this monthly kit? So I figured we could decorate that monthly view and we could redate it for April because this is the April set. As you can see there, we get that April strip in 2022. This page also has the days of the week and all those pink numbers to redate your days or even if you just want to add some color to your spread. And then some decorative stickers and some of those functional boxes as well. We get a couple birthdays, a couple celebrate stickers. And then this page we get some bucket lists, some kind of washi strip sticker, um, some little icons like the little barbells you can put for your workouts, a lot of flags. Up in the top right, that gray, pink, black, and navy blue, those are tiny little boxes, um, which I do end up using. I'll show you those. And then a lot of flags and tabs. And then this one's a lot of like header stickers, um, appointments and things, and then some more decorative, but also some functional. It looks like a nice habit tracker there. And then we get a page of icons. So here's all those errands, grocery shopping, all that kind of stuff. So that's our five page kit. And I'm gonna start with that monthly view. So let's grab that planner guide they gave us and this page with the month. And it looks like these washi strips are the exact length we need to go across the top of this page. All right, and it is that perfect width that matches up perfectly. And then this one, the 2022, it is 2022 already printed on there, but let's keep the theme going here. Let's go ahead and use that one. And those are really pretty. I like that navy blue with the floral. Okay, then let's come in and renumber this. So I'm gonna grab, actually, let's do the days of the week first. So again, even though the planner already has the days of the week there, let's go ahead and use their days of the week. See if we like that it adds that color and or if it just looks like too much. And I'm just going to use my, my uh, tweezers to help me put them down straight. So I'll put all the tools I use in the description below. And then let me grab these number stickers. And unlike the happy planner there, numbers go in the top right corner of those boxes and what's nice about those weekly days of the week stickers is if you'd prefer your calendar to start on monday you could do it and just change it to be monday and then those days of the week are in there and then what's nice is they give you some not blank because they have little stars on them or suns but they give you extra stickers to come in and finish off those those days you don't need and I like that they're not on a clear background because when they're on a clear background, you got to use some kind of correction tape or correction fluid down first over the number and then the new sticker. So I like that they're paper backing. And then I wanted to include that little Earth Day sticker. And then let's see. I think we can take this skinnier washi tape sticker and cover up. They had some pre-printed like birthdays on there to show you that you could get your birthdays printed right on the planner. And so I'm going to just cover those up with this skinny washi. And using that new cutting mat, I found those cutting mats at the Dollar Tree. So my Dollar Tree, it's a dollar twenty-five, but it's one of those like rotary cutting mats and it's nice and small, perfect size to stick in your planner bag. 
and use just as a precaution when you're using your craft knife. Now I'm only cutting hard enough to cut through that sticker, not hard enough into the paper. So that craft mat is just a precaution, but you know, just in case we don't want to cut through the paper beneath it or your work surface. So I'm just, again, I'm covering up those pre-printed uh, birthdays and anniversaries and things that they had entered on in there for an example. And then you could also cover any holidays that don't fit with the month you're redating it to. And then I think that looks okay. It's a coordinating gold color there. And then there's another washi strip in here that's this floral. I think we'll use both. And again, careful using sharp objects. There we go. And I think one more. Well, let's see. Maybe up at the top there. And I said one more, but I just want to spread that floral washi sticker around. So I'm just going to put some over here as well. And you get that tiny little bit left over. All right. So I'm liking how this is turning out so far. I like these colors. I think it's really pretty. And that was a pretty easy way to redate that month. All right. Let's see. Well, let's grab. Uh, let's see. I do have my brother's birthday. We have one of these birthday stickers. And then I think there was some celebrate stickers. Oh, there's even this one that says happy Easter or Easter on it. Okay. Maybe we don't need that one. All right. Then as far as these icons, they're really cute. So like if you go to the grocery store once a week, uh, laundry stickers, yard work. It's April, so a lot of gardening stickers. And then you also get some just decorative flowers and things. I think we can come in with these little icons. Like, where are we going to the grocery store? Where's trash day? Where do we typically do laundry? We have little birthday icons I put on my brother's birthday. There's the cute little trash day. And grocery store. Yeah, these are really cute. And they're all on a paper backing. And then we had so many stickers left over. Let's go ahead and do one of the weekly views, one of the layouts as well. And one of the ones that I liked is this weekly overview. It kind of reminds me of the Happy Planner dashboard view. Um, the, the week side is a little more of a horizontal look. But I think of this one as the dashboard. And then I think we can come in and have enough stickers to decorate this weekly view as well. I do need to cover up over the March again, and let's use these little boxes. I don't have more number stickers, but we can use boxes and then maybe write over them. And let's see if we can add some colorful boxes and things. So we can come in and title these different sections. Like what do we want to track in this box? We could write that there. And then there's also another layout I was looking at was the uh, hourly daily, I think it was called layout. 
Yeah, let's check out that one too. Let's see. Let's put a couple boxes over the days. Okay. And then I'm gonna cut this washi sticker just in half, nice and easy. And then use that to cover up the march. And I'm okay that that doesn't go all the way across the page. And some of these we'll use as headers. I really like this cute box. And then if you still need the room to write there, you can layer one of these over it. So you still have room. I like how much color these add to the page while still giving you room to write. And then you can see they even coordinate with the colors that are already on the page. So that kind of light green. Make sure that's down straight. Yeah, if you saw my other video about trying to find if there was a plum paper layout that I would be able to put all, everything I like to track in all four of my planners in my Franken planner. If you saw that video, you saw that I got this layout right here to work. And so part of decorating it, I'm trying to see like if you put a sticker here, you could label what that section was, what you were tracking there. Maybe that was your fitness goals or maybe it was chores or errands you had to run your schedule or budget items and this was the only layout I found that had enough room to fit everything then maybe some to-do lists some bucket um, some bullet point kind of checklists maybe a little decoration All right, and then we still have so many stickers left. Okay, we've already done, what, three pages? Let's do this vertical page two. So I'm gonna come back in with those little squares just to cover those number days. Day numbers, <laughs> day numbers. And then we can grab those vertical stickers that were a little larger. You can use those in other layouts. They don't have to perfectly fit the box. They were perfectly made for, but let's go ahead and use them here. And then we can add some circles. Yeah, we'll put that orange on the other side of the page from that full box that has the orange in it. And then we get little bullet point stickers. We can come in and make our own checklists. We could even do both sides of the page. We still have a lot of stickers left. All right, let's do some headers up here. Maybe one down first and then... Mm, that's looking weird. <laughs> I do not like that as much as I thought I was going to. All right. And these do peel up nicely. I have not had any problems 
with the paper tearing underneath and I needed to peel a sticker up either to reposition it or to take it off completely. They are nice and thick, but not like cardstock stickers. And even with none of them being clear, I haven't found that to be a problem. Probably because most of them are, are functional. Now, I don't know if I would say these are the cutest um, planner spreads I've ever done, but I do like the colors. I do like that they all coordinate, so that's easy. As long as you stick with that kit, everything would match and look good. Maybe we could add more bullet points in there. There we go. I mean, I gotta tell you guys, I thought the kit was more like just for the monthly view. This is enough stickers to decorate your entire month. You could easily do the monthly view and all four or five weeks from that month with one kit. So this might even be cheaper than buying four or five sticker books to do the subscription kit for the year. I'll have to put a link below. I'll put a link with how much it is in the description below. So check that out. And Plum Paper was very generous to include these in everybody's Go Wild swag. So that was very nice of them. Yeah, there's a lot of stickers here. Maybe some of these cute little icons, like you can record your fitness down there. Let's come back to this one. I think we can add a little bit more. Tuck some little flowers in. That one's still looking a little plain. Let's see what we can do. Maybe a weekend sticker. grocery store. the little planner corners that's pretty cute yeah I like that there's a huge variety in here too because you get the corners you get the little dots to make bullet points or checklists you get all those little icons you get some banners you get on um, the holidays full-size boxes headers flags yeah it's a really nice mix We could even use this large circle here. We'll save that habit tracker one. <laughs> and I think if we go back to the icon sheet, we can do a couple more. Yeah. 
And I think it still looks cute, even after you add all those little icons, because they coordinate with the monthly kit, they still look nice. So you could see, we still had a lot of stickers left. We were able to do, I mean, I would call that a full monthly view. We were able to do this vertical layout. This, I'm going to call that a dashboard layout. So, so far that's three. That's three full pages. And this daily hourly, I think it was called, or at least an hourly. That's four. So four full spreads. And we still have all these stickers left. We did take a good chunk out of some of the pages. But it's plenty to do an entire month worth of planner spreads. And that's a pretty easy way of doing it. You wouldn't have to think about what themes or what colors you were going to do. You just buy that kit and use those stickers and it would look nice and not maybe not the most creative planner spreads I've ever done, but it's very easy and foolproof. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Click like if you like this video, subscribe to see more. Don't forget I have my Go Wild swag giveaway open, so check that video out. But thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.